There's nothing that makes me happier than to go and, and spend time with my boys playing baseball, doing something they love. More than seven months after eight year old Jackson Sparks was killed in the Waukesha Christmas Parade attack, his family is stepping out publicly, honoring his memory. It's always hard and it's a kind of been a day to day process, but uh, in the same sense, this is what both my boys love doing. His older brother playing alongside hundreds of kids, teams traveling from around the state Friday. 47 miles per hour. Kicking off a weekend long tournament put together by the Waukesha Blazers, partnering with the Jackson Sparks Foundation, along with dozens of sponsors. All proceeds from the tournament helping support the other players and coaches who were walking in the parade and benefiting the more than 250 kids in the organization. The process to work through has been extremely challenging. Um, again, baseball brings healing. We had people reaching out to us from all over the nation, um, sending us care packages and things like that. Many teams in the tournament sporting Jackson's name and number on their helmets, jerseys, even in gold around their necks. And I'm sure Jackson would love to have been here today as well. Oh, man. He would be trying to hit as many homers as he could. He'd be running as fast as he could on these bases. He would be having a ball. Well, that's got to help so many of his teammates and coaches heal. Caroline joins us now live. And Caroline, this tournament starts up again tomorrow morning. First thing in the morning, Joyce, there are more than 50 teams from around the state participating in the tournament this weekend. They're going to be playing on three different parks here at Sunset Park, also at William Oliver Park and Banting Park as well, Joyce. Coming together to help that family. Thank you so much, Caroline.